Hello guys, it's Boynable from Sweden And in today's video, I'm going to say something that I thought I uh, never would say I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I am not going to be opening the dreams and nightmares case I, I guess that's the case <laughs> But before I get into that, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Skinboard. Now, if you don't know what Skinboard is, it's a CSGO marketplace, meaning that you can buy and sell skins for real money, real cash, dollar dollar bill. You can also sell Team Fortress items and Rust items and Dota too. But let's be honest, who plays those games? There's almost 350,000 items listed. And if you're buying skins, for example, buying a Tiger Tooth on Steam, you're gonna have to shill out on 430 euro. Meanwhile, on Skinport, cheapest one listed right now is 315 euro. That's a difference of over 100 euro. Very crazy. Also, if you're selling items, you can see they have a suggested price. So hopefully, you don't list your items at the wrong price, which is what this video is about. So whether you guys want to buy skins or sell skins for real money safely, then use the link in the description. Thank you very much, Skinport, for keeping the third channel alive and now let's go into the video basically this is the new case the dreams and nightmares case i made a whole video about it on my main channel i also opened up quite a few of them when they were pretty expensive because it's a new case of course i'm gonna open some in the video but the more i think about it the less i want to actually open this case now there's a lot of different reasons why i don't want to open this case at least yet and i don't at all have a script for this video or anything so I'm just gonna speak from my heart. This case is bad. This is not a case that's very good in my opinion. Sure, some of the skins are nice and they're very cool that they're community made and were part of the competition where Valve gave the skin creators 1.7 million, but... If you think about it, right now, it's really stupid to open. If we look at the Steam market, you will see these new cases, Dreams and Nightmares, are listed for 4.5 euro. Now, if you compare uh, that price with other cases, that is very high. There's very few cases that are over 4.5 euro. And you can see, just by me talking about it for a few seconds, the price had already dropped a little bit. And as you can see by the graph, uh, the price is going down very fast. So if we look at the newest cases in CS, you can see we have the Prisma, CS20, then the Operation Shattered web case, then a little pause. During the Operation, I'm pretty sure they released the Prisma 2, but after the Operation, they released the Fracture case. Then after that, we had the next Operation, the next year, Operation Broken Fang, then when that uh, Operation was over, we had the Snakebite case, now we have the Operation Riptide case, and now when that Operation is almost over, we get the dreams and nightmares case now this uh, case as you can see it's gonna end up like one of the cases after the uh, operation for example prisma or fracture or the snakebite case so if we look at the timeline of the last seven cases you can see we have an operation case then a case released during the operation after that we have the post operation case then a few months later we're back with an operation and of course an operation case at the end or after the operation we jump back to another post-operation case. Now we're back with the operation case and at the end of this operation we have another case which is technically the post-operation case. Now if we look at the prices of these you will see a very specific pattern. Let's first look at the three operation cases and then at the four post-operation cases. Starting off with operation shattered web case 1.2 euro that's also very very high for a case. Next operation, broken fang case, 0 0.7 euro. That's decently high, especially for such a new case. And finally, operation riptide case, only 46 cent. Still pretty high, but this one is still in a live operation that's live right now. It hasn't stopped yet, which is why it's so cheap. Now, if we look at the top row here, these four post or during the operation cases, you will see 
they are not at all the same price. So these four cases, Prisma 2, Fracture, Snakebite, and Dreams and Nightmares case, all have that in common. If you look at the price, 0.05 euro for the Prisma 2. We have Fracture, 0.07. Very cheap compared to the actual operation cases. After that, we have the Snakebite case, 0.08 euro. And finally, the Dreams and Nightmares case, which this video is about. Now, the only one we can't really say is part of this is the Prisma 2 case, because that one uh, isn't really the post-operation case. So we're going to work with this, 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 and this case for this little, uh, to, for me to prove a point. Operation Shattered Web introduced the new knives, for example, the Skeleton, the Nomad, Survival, etc. When the operation is over, these cases aren't dropped anymore, which is why they need another case to have the same knives so they don't go extinct or become too rare. So you see, Shattered Web Operation Case has the new knives, then Fracture Case, the next one, the same knives so we get a cheap case with the same knives. Same goes for Broken Fang, they introduced these new gloves, which is very cool, but of course they didn't want them to go extinct after the operation case stops dropping, so they introduced the snake bite case with the same gloves. And finally, the ongoing operation, Riptide, of course they introduced, you already know, the new skins, the gamma skins, onto the older knives, so uh, Butterfly Autotronic and Emerald Butterfly, etc. When Operation Riptide is over, which is very soon, this case will stop dropping and go up in value. However, the Dreams and Nightmares case is not going to stop dropping. That is going to be the backup case that saves these knives from going extinct. You see, it's the same knives. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, this case is eventually, this is my prediction, I'm not a financial investor guy, don't sue me, but my uh, what I think, these are going to be like 10 cents uh, eventually, pretty soon. And on the market, we can see they're already 4 euro. By the end of today, I think they're going to be under 4 euro easily. And they're dropping a lot. You you see the, the supply of these have just gone up like crazy. So if we're uh, going to open cases now, we want to open Riptide because it's way cheaper. We're paying 10 times the amount just for this one. No, actually 11 times the amount just to open the Dreams and Nightmare case. Why? To get the new skins, the new blues, purples, pinks, and reds, the knife, we're not opening the case for the knife, because then if we just wanted the knife, we would have opened the Riptide, which is cheaper. Now, we're opening this one, paying the premium, only for the skins, the weapon skins. Already by now, the purples are basically <laughs> very cheap. The pinks are still somewhat expensive, but it's not really a lot of profit. Let's see how much these are. Yeah, you see, only if you get it, like, field-tested minimal wear factory new, is it gonna be worth it. And of course, if you get the red, it's also profit. But because so many of these cases are dropping, the price of the case is going down, more and more are being opened, the price of these skins drop every day. So you'd need to basically instantly sell the skins if you're gonna make profit, because these skins are gonna be worth maybe only one-fourth of what they're worth now in a few weeks. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you're opening this case instead of Operation Riptide case, you're basically just a gambling addict, you're a degenerate, because you open to get like a very rare skin, aka Nightwish, MP9 Starlight Protector, etc, just so you can insta-sell it and uh, open more. That's, uh, that's bad. That's why, in my opinion, this case is shit. It is going to be very cheap very soon. To end this video, I'm gonna open this one, because I bought this one only for the video, so I could have it and inspect it, uh, which I now realize is kind of stupid, but that's fine. Yeah, yeet. So you see, you're pa oh, that red just flew by. You're paying the premium only to get baited by the uh, weapon skins, which you're gonna need to uh, insta-sell, basically. It's just stupid. I don't like this new case. If it was new knives, then yes, I would have said, yeah, open it. It's cool. The new knives are gonna stay very expensive very long. Uh, the, the Dreams and Nightmare case, however, no. Not gonna stay expensive. Gonna become very, very cheap. If you get the case as a drop, I would suggest you to sell it for uh, 4.5 euro or whatever it's worth when you're watching this, three euro, and then buy uh, a key and open another case. At least that's what I think. Thank you guys for watching. That's why I'm not gonna open the Dreams and Nightmares case until it becomes cheaper than the Operation Riptide case. And uh, I guess that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Now I'm gonna go uh, open some Dreams and Nightmares.